Hey everyone, we are back again today. We are at Lark Canyon OHV Park um, out near Boulevard, California. Uh, as you can see, a lot of really cool sites. Um, this place is really known for its sandy, rocky single track. Um, it's also known as McCain Valley. Uh, it's usually what I call it. Some of the signage says Lark Canyon. I've never heard it called that personally. Um, but anyway, for any event, I'm out here on the WR450 today. It's been awesome to ride so far through this gnarly stuff. I'm happy to have you along. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Hey everyone, so I know it's been a little while since so I made a video. I did want to put this one together. This was taken a couple months ago when I took the WR out for the first time through some single track riding. Really performed well. Excellent handling. The suspension was just spot on. Uh, just very lightweight. Everywhere I went, it felt like I was jumping over any of the little ruts and terrain and whoops I went over. Just had a really great day. Beautiful weather, beautiful time of year. Couldn't ask for a much better day. So this park is actually only about an hour outside San Diego. It's really easy for day trips. Uh, it's actually a state-funded and maintained off-road vehicle park, so you can bring all your green sticker vehicles and dirt bikes and have a great time. For those of you who have seen my other videos, you know typically I go pretty long distances. Uh, in this case, I think I only got in about 20 miles because this is really an exhausting type of terrain. You're really pulling the bike, jumping, lifting up, squatting down. So I uh, had a really great day overall, but this is a whole different type of riding than I normally do. Who's my turn? I don't know where I'm going, I'm just kind of riding around. There's trails in every direction. You'll notice throughout the video too, I got caught in one of those lucky times of the year where the desert starts to bloom. So all these little yellow flowers and these balloons are all present throughout the day. It really just made for some awesome scenery and great riding. Another thing I had a couple times throughout this ride was hitting false neutrals. 
Um, so just taking a little bit of getting used to for me to understand the gearbox in this bike and keep that from happening. But overall, the bike ran great, performed in an outstanding way. I think it's fair to say that this bike is probably better suited for a you know, more advanced riding style than what I've currently got in my skill set. But at the same time, I think it's a bike that's going to make me a lot better. Uh, it gives me a lot more opportunity to develop and try different riding styles. So I'm really excited to see how my skill set progresses on this bike and, and uh, see what all I can do. The bench on this thing is so much smoother. Uh, pick a line, any line. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find the trail on these. I can stand up straight, you're good. different type of ride than I'm used to. This is more uh, hard enduro, sort of single track stuff. Like you see a lot of my other videos, mostly ride a lot of trails and sort of exploration type stuff. It's got a really weird camber to it. I took Roy out here about a year ago and he did pretty good really. A little CRF 50, he, he survived. I guess the only downside I'll say to this area is there's no like, or at least for me, I don't know what's over the next hill, so I don't feel like ripping it over blind jumps. Like right now, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's coming. Could be a person for all I know. This 
spider webs in a new direction. back down the hill. While I was being pretty cautious, I ended up having the whole place to myself. There was only like two or three cars in the staging area, but other than that, it was it. It was a, a solo day out here. Great, beautiful time. in the distance down there on the horizon that is all the uh, Anza Borrego Desert where I do a lot of my riding a lot of my videos um, the Carrizo Mountain and so forth all that is right down there so we're not far from some familiar land Let's see if I can go over there a little more but yeah all that is riding areas where I head down to and explore so uh, kind of cool to see it from this perspective we're not far from there Drizzling. Some of that good rocky stuff. Fifty would recommend. Yeah. Let's see here. I really like how technical this area is too. As you can see, you've got a bunch of different ledges you've got to go down or up, depending on the direction you're coming. And really gives you a lot of opportunity to feather the clutch and help balance the bike and really just makes for a wide variety of different riding types. What are we getting in here too, Gary? Okay. 
almost got my leg caught in that rock. The bike was going, but I wasn't. One of these areas gets so narrow between these rocks, that unless you time it and angle it just right, you'll get stuck. Cool, is it? At this point, I'm already starting to get a little bit fatigued. It's getting hot, and I'm uh, about wore out from wrestling this thing around, but I'm still having a blast. Do not want to go too fast through here and send it through the barbed wire, that's for sure. So this is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier with the narrow rocks and timing the angles just right. And I'll show a little bit of the aftermath here towards the end of the video. Ooh, got it. That's why you have to skip that. Oh man, let's check that out. This thing's hard to get into neutral when you want it to. Looks like you still got everything. So I thought the impact was on the left side of the bike, but it turns out it was on the right side of the clutch cover. And again, I'll, I'll show a little bit more towards the end of the video. I didn't realize the damage I received until I actually got back to the staging area. I think I get the place to myself today. It's pretty gnarly terrain everywhere, so it's really good to get your chops up, crack your balance. I wanted to come out here today for just a short ride. You know, just a little morning getaway. Like I said, the weather's really crappy in San Diego, so this is perfect for me just to get out and ride the bike a little bit. I haven't been on the WR in like three weeks, so I wanted to run some gas through it. And 
showed some love and uh, this is a great place for this bike. I mean, it's just killer out here. Uh, I would recommend it. Um, I would say it's pretty uh, intermediate to advanced, but overall you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna definitely leave a better rider than when you got here. So ride safe. So I'm loading up the bike just now and let's see if I get the camera right. Loading up the bike just now and I noticed some oil right here and I have cracked the case already. That big thud we heard, that was probably what caused it. But uh, I don't know if it's gonna show in the video or not, but we got oil coming out of the case. So that'll be a fun repair, but that's the way she goes. That's, what's, that's what you get riding in the dirt. I don't know if that's gonna show or not, but right there, that little screw, that whole uh, section there on the case is cracked. So we'll, we'll get it fixed. No biggie, that's what riding dirt bikes all about. So once I got it back to the garage, I was able to take a look and fortunately it was actually just the clutch cover on the right side of the bike that got cracked and not the crankcase, thank goodness. Um, the crankcase would have been a, a much bigger ordeal to uh, have to repair. This took about an hour all in, but uh, in any event, I uh, really appreciate everyone watching. There's going to be a lot of great new videos coming out soon. I've got a really exciting ride uh, that I took about a month after this one on this bike, and really looking forward to putting it together and showing you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. Have a great day.